Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah from the point of nasiha of advice the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said adina nasiha adina nasiha adina nasiha and then he mentioned that it was for Allah and for his book and for the Prophet the Prophets alayhi afdal salatu wa salam and for the uh, imams or the leaders of the Muslims and the general Muslim folk. So, nasiha, advice, is a part, an intrinsic part of Islamic, uh, Islamic belief, in Islamic manners, and adab. And with that being the case of Habitatullah, from the point of nasiha, and from the point of commanding the good and forbidding the evil, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to rectify ourselves. I wanted to offer this advice to our brothers and sisters uh, from various uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, whether they're reverts, because some of the people attribute these these this type of conduct to revert sisters specifically, and belittle them. Sometimes there's racism involved, and think that they are less than someone, especially who is of Arab. Uh, background or some other background and often this comes from people putting others on a pedestal so we have to realize that sin is not unique to anyone no one has a monopoly on sin or and no one has a monopoly monopoly on righteousness a taqwa huna the taqwa the god fearfulness it's here is the messenger of Allah of Allah alayhi salatu salam mentioned the Prophet ﷺ said, "Inna fi jizid mudghadhin, ida salaha salaha jizid kullu, wa ida fasida fasida jizid kullu, ala wa hiya qalb." The Prophet ﷺ said, "Verily, in the heart is a morsel of flesh. If it is good and healthy, then the whole body is healthy. If it is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart." So we know that we distinguish ourselves through taqwa azawajal, and. I wanted to mention more directly directing this advice to the sisters but even the brothers as well to not destroy your image and yourself on social media for example how many sisters from various backgrounds various nationalities Arab African American Caucasian American Ethiopian Trinidadian Chinese Turkish Models that become models, swimsuit uh, representatives, <laughs> you know, uh, makeup artists, musicians, self help people with makeup and music and every kind of facade you can think of, the Muslims are doing it because the Prophet said, You will follow the way of those people who came before you. Meaning the Yahud and Nasara, the Christians and the Jews. The Prophet said, Men minhum. Whoever resembles a people, then he's from them. So it's imperative, Ahabatifillah, that we begin to reform our conduct and our character. And what you put out there on social media is something that will stay with you. Because maybe people are saving your image, maybe people are cutting and pasting your image. So be careful of what you expose about yourself. I've noticed since I've joined the Facebook community how much people put about themselves. You have some religious people that are even students of knowledge all up cozy with their wives. Don't they realize that people can give you ayn? People can, uh, you know, they're looking at your spouse. They're, you know, it's all kind of crazy, wicked facade. There's no khair in that. No matter how many people you think you are Entertaining or making joyous or showing that you love your spouse, show your love to your spouse. It doesn't have to be on camera. It doesn't have to be in the social media world because that can come back and destroy you. And so it's very important, but especially sisters showing their beauty. Some of the sisters, they're niqab one minute. Next thing you minute, everything's hanging out. They're all over. Uh... You just wonder what's what's going on in their mind. And we probably have a good idea what's going on in their mind. But if they only knew that their beauty, they didn't even let 
the people to really see their beauty. And in fact, their beauty is reserved for their husbands when they get married, if they're married or if they're not married. But the true beauty is going to be internal. Yes, we love the physical. But at the same time, a righteous, a virtuous woman is so precious to any man, really. But especially the believers adhering to the book and the sunnah. And so it's not befitting for the sisters to show their beauty because one, they're promoting sin. Number two, they're spreading uh, spreading and promoting sin. They're gaining sin. They're encouraging sin. And they are losing the respect of the people. No matter how much I've seen the comments of people with some of these sisters displaying themselves like that. And even brothers, big beards, brothers on this, and brothers look... And, and the stuff they're saying. And even that's not befitting. It's not befitting. You're putting all your business out there on social media. And again, as I said, that stuff comes back to haunt you. It's amazing how people have not learned as long as this type of social media has been out there and as much as it's become so, uh, so commonly, uh, there's so much awareness out there, but people as, act as if they're unaware. And as if their community is so close, people will spill everything about themselves and their families and their private and, and their, their health, their family's health, their death over here, their sicknesses, their, you know, it's become, we're a different, uh, we're living in a different time. So be cautious of what you put out there. And finally, that we have to realize that this taklid, this uh, resemblance of others is a resemblance of the fasak. It's a resemblance of the people of sin. It's a resemblance of Ashab al Jahim, of the people of Jahannam. Because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that what he saw in Jahannam when it was shown to him, alayhi salatu wasalam, in the hellfire, that he saw that most of its inhabitants were women because they were, uh, you know basically disobedient to their husbands and 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 not uh, and and never content with their husbands and likewise those women showing their beauty how many various punishments and we don't have to maybe one day we'll go into it in some of the chapters i think in bukhari and muslim that talks about that fitna and what what was the end result for these for the people who displayed their beauty for those women who did exactly what the people of Jahannam do. Whose sunnah are you going to follow? So this is advice for my brothers and my sisters that, and myself that we need to be cautious of what we put out there and how we portray ourselves and in uh, promoting sin. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to guide us all, forgive us all, bless us all, protect us all, preserve us all. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.